Welcome everyone. Let's will start our second lesson. My name is Anjum Sata and my email address anjum at ukvst.co.uk. Then today lesson will go through our LO2, which is learning outcome to be able to plan the work based team project. And uh, we are doing the unit managing a work based team project. And uh, it's the ATHE level four diploma in business management. Before starting our lesson, two day lesson, first of all, we recap what we learned during our previous lesson in lesson one. So let's do a bit recap. So be able to develop proposal for the project based team, which we discussed in last lesson. We discussed objective. What is meant by objective? We discussed smart objective. What is meant by specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time defined? Those are called objective. Objective means the end result. What at the end of the project we want to be achieved, and we we learn about different uh, scope of the project. What this project will bring it will bring new opportunity it will be cost saving or will solve the problem that's why we are doing the project and how we can monitor the progress of project you know so we said planning and control and monitoring is very very important to achieve the desired objective of the project so we discuss about contingent planning as well and evaluate the benefit of the project benefit in term of strategic financial and organization we discuss about all this you know the different uh, success criteria we can use to measure the success of the project we discuss about the uh, strategic is a long term financial in the monetary term competitive how competitive our product will be against the competitor by let's say automated machine innovative how innovative we are Code is the continuous improvement and the benefit to customer. What this product or the new project will bring the benefit to customer. So that's what we discussed during our last lesson. Through the lesson, we'll move to our LO2, which is about the project management methodologies. We'll go through CPA, critical path analysis, GAN chart, what is meant by Third program evaluation review technique, Prince 2, which is project software, and Agile, what is meant by this, which will go through activity planning, which will go through what is meant by identify the activities, ordering the activity in a logical order, uh, then what is a dependent activity and critical path, so which will go through some CPA examples, and I copied the link for you to watch the video as well. Milestone, what is, are the key things in and uh, when we can start and finish our project and what are the milestone dates, you know, and the activities within our, those will make our project successful. So workspace, which we'll go through, we'll discuss more in detail documentation, how we can keep, why this is a crucial technology, how technology can play a role in the success. So financial resources, which we need to manage the budget. Budget is the mean financial plan. Sources of funding, where we can get the fund from. We're not going in detail, but we'll discuss a bit. So sources, internal and external sources of finance. Contingency planning, what is the second plan? Allocation, the team member, how we can, and the responsibility, how we can identify the risk, likelihood of risk, uh, acceptance criteria, lines manager, all this will quality plan, what is meant by, what is meant by quality itself, and thus we'll discuss project initiation, decision, end stage assessment, highlight report, exceptional report. All this will be focused in our discussion today. Anybody, any question? So let's we'll go back and uh, if we'll go back to and we look how many assessment criteria we have today, we'll go through 2.1 propose. So key is the word is a propose. There is a plan there, plan. And it should be 2.4, I think, so the mistake. Uh, so please just say 2.4, analyze, and then 2.5 is carried out, risk assessment, how we can carry it out and explain. So we'll go through explain in quality control and system. So we'll look all these in our lesson. These are the command words, please, when you deal with LO2, so you need to be well aware of what this meant by so when i'll say propose something so put 
forward an idea plan and suggestion so plan is set out and communicate this plan with the, your stakeholders and they give account the purpose of the reasons of the project and analyze the separate information into component identify their characteristics so all this will be focused that's the inductive content what we're supposed to be learned you can rate yourself in term of your knowledge current plan with the work-based project team in term of the team knowledge role and responsibility and the project what your knowledge you have up to now okay so first 2.1 2.1 is a proposed project management methodology methods so different methods you may be learn about in research methodology is let's say we'll discuss primary research and secondary research so you can adopt in your project to do research if you want to so primary research is a first hand information if you're doing question to get the information so first first hand information so that will be your that will call your observation first time is your primary information secondary we is second opinion it means second time we are using second time some information that's publish information so these are the different methodologies we'll go through in first program evaluation review technique cpa critical path analysis WBS, which we discussed, work breakdown structure, PDA, uh, product development uh, analysis, all this which will be focused in our discussion. So, what is meant by first, you know, we'll look around the what is the definition of project itself. Project are the way of bringing about the change. So, we need to be think about the change, something new, something's changed. There are the use that develop the new product and the system are alter the physical, social, and cultural environment. The word project actually derived from the Latin word crosier, which is mean throw forward, and the project is a is a leap into future. Yes, the move into future. That's a future project. International Standard Organization (ISO) they define project is a set of coordinated activities. With a specific start, finish, and pursuing specific goal with the constraint, times, cost, and resources. That is the project. So constraint is a limitation. So you can't say, according to the one great scholar in economic, we can't say you have unlimited resources. We have unlimited wants. Unlimited wants, wants, desires, and you have limited resources and you need to be fine the way how effectively you use your money you use your time you use your resources in a business because it's a constraint you have so many wishes you have so many desires but you have to find the way you use your best resources and you get maximum output from your limited resources so international standardization they explain according to the phil phil he mentioned uh, in 99 a project is a sequence of connected events so you will be aware of what are conducted over defined limited period targeted toward the generating unique and well-defined outcome so that's all your objective but how will plan it do it so according to um, Sebastian, a work breakdown structure is the easiest place to start with the project planning. It is enhance the list of all the activities of the project. So enhance, explain how the project is break down into the task in group of associated uh, project or they also give information about the effort and the duration. So it can be less, you know, we'll see here. So you want to build a house. So acquire project, land, find a plot for the sale, study the location, negotiation, legal and closing, preparation, appoint architect, draw up the plan, planning application, appoint contractor and build a house. So these all activity is part of the acquired plot group. So that's, you know, is all about the it can be a project okay so then is a, a product breakdown structure which we call pbs so product breakdown structure break 
product into the component or the point at the form of a vertical chart each product may be broken down to sub product and then further broken down to activity so for example if we examine uk university classroom based tuition courses this would be product that that sub product this would be the exam text class notes classroom delivery assessment exam kit and mock exam so then this shows in order their sub product must be provided for example it will be important have a class note before the classroom delivery can be take place and likewise it will be important for student to attend some classroom deliveries before they can attempt the assessment so each sub product could be broken down by activity for example activities involve creating exam text may be obtain official syllabus obtain the official text creating the material edit material obtain examiner or examiner body approval print the text and deliver the text and planning control can be focused in each sub product and activity for example schedule schedule is mean the time in when when you will do how you will do so can be created the risk can be assessed risk is the probability of happening something so we need to be assessed the risk so responsibility can be allocated targets so all this we need to be look around okay think about program evaluation review technique which we call per so which is as a project student we should be well aware of so network diagram of graphical representation project evaluation techniques is a planning method to use network diagram and the term per chart network diagram interchangeably we use the network diagram contain the same task dependency information gain make be useful communication which will see the gain chart figures as well which i mentioned you in the previous lesson as well so network diagram are useful for the project planner and structure the things you know and the activities so which we call a critical path and else you need to be find the critical so what are the critical task in the project those will be and you need to do analysis for it in network diagram cpa and program evaluation so the for example basic information required to draw the per different task in the project in logical order so you need to be fine like you know you want to build a house what is the logical things you used to you can't uh, before buying you can't build the house before buying the plot can you prepare the map or uh, the architecture you can so first you need to be look around to buy a plot yes piece of land and before that you need to be do a research where you want you need to look around your budget your constraint your limitation so per diagram so that's we need to be expected duration for each task so you need to be look around the each task how much will takes you so uh, i'll spend four weeks to do research about where i'll buy the plot what will be the future plan of local government what new roads may be are going to be built in the area maybe james bars or whatever depend more schools and things so we can look around the religious places uh, are in the future access or in term of the university schools infrastructure park public places software program that create the diagram showing the sequence and the activity earlier or later short time for each one so we can look around last lesson i quoted this as well so which is again i'm mentioning is like you want to be plan a meal and cook the meal and you finish in 45 minutes so you need to be look around the start and then uh, with then you cook the meal when you start and your meals on the fire are you cooking and then you can set the table as well parallel activity then you can eat the meals in 15 minutes and total you can finish in 45 minutes so you need to be look around each activity is a sequence of activities and the time and the duration and you can evaluate have you finished within and these are the critical things you know in the success of the project nobody need to be put diagram to tell them when they set the table this is not completely point when you have to access the tool that the project manager is extremely tempting to use them when they have not appropriate reinforce the point made earlier in the section it is important to select the right tool 
to match the complexity of the project. So the resources we discussed last lesson 3M, man, money, and material, these three resources are very important. So you have to decide what resources. You need to calculate the cost of each, you know, of the resource and each activity, each, you know, the stage at the cost. Cost can be, we discussed about last lesson as well. Cost can be, we can go fixed cost, the cost won't change variable cost the cost which change with the level like uh, electricity energy cost semi variable where fixed and variable cost together include we discuss um, home land land phone line rental is the fix and the uh, call charges are variable cost so we can call semi variable fixed charges plus call charges so that's i mentioned you in the previous lesson then we need to look around Plus, we need to keep in mind the opportunity cost because if you're doing this course, you're attending this lesson, you're missing other opportunities. So this lesson should give you more benefit than the opportunity you're missing. So basically, we do the cost and benefit analysis that will help us to be and always is good to be made the opportunity cost. Next, we're looking CPA is called uh, critical path analysis. Guys, this is very important concept. It's good to be develop your understanding. I copy the link for you for extra resources. Please, you can copy this link and you can go through and you can further watch this. Okay, next CPA is a is a project analysis and the planning method allow project to complete in the shortest possible way. So we that's the path. Uh, CPA purpose to be complete your project. Com Complete your activities within our task, you know, the shortest time. Because the time shortage means the sh lower the cost uh, and the lower the risk. Uh, a list of all the activity required to complete the project. The time duration that each activity will be to completion. The dependency between activities, activity D cannot be completed until activity B and C done. So we can go through short term, long term and different activity. What will be dependent and what will be as independent activity. So the longest the past planned activities end of the project. So we can say early start EST, early start and late test finish LFT, a late start when how long we can late start and how early we can finish the project so we can look this you know is very crucial which activities are critical on the longest path and which have the total float can be delayed without making the project longer the sequence of the project activity which add up and the longer overall duration so critical path analysis determine the shorter the time possible to complete the project that's a critical. So if next we look, this is one of the example I added here for you. So you can look around the component which we can call one note. So a circle that represents the point in time where the activity is start and finish the note is a circle and split into three sections. Uh, the left half of the circle is a unique note, activity numbers, which we can say activity two, and then the network diagram draw these in order. The top right section shows the earliest start time is a five on the fifth and that the activity can be commenced based on the completion on the previous activities. And then the bottom right, it shows the latest finish. So by which the previous activity must be completed and then we can finish this activity is by six so activity any activity is some sometime the task time so an activity is shown on the network a line that's link the node that the circle description of the activity then the better represent the activities usually shown above the relevant line so we can look around the network diagram so activity like you want to be plan about the exam preparation activity so activity four so what is earliest and what is latest finish time can be and what is a h is activity and h duration so you can look around this so we can go is next example here you can look around 
get the lesson notes, read through and start activities, duration 10 hours, A, task B, identify the gaps in knowledge. So then you need to completion of task A in three hours, then if you don't do the first one, you can't some parallel activity we can resource online research online resources and complete task B the five hour D prostate rose Facebook and completion of the task two you need be we need thirty hours of time write the revision plan and review notes B and C completion the task of B and C can be combined in 12 hours so practice past exam and being when complete is eight hours and complete the last minute trembling so we need to be look around this this is been been calculating early start time project so we can look around the activity not then second activity we need 10 hours so you will see there 10 hours and the zero is the following late finish. So B can be the third one, third activity. That's so because the there 10 and this three that make 13. So not is then we can look around then following four activities, which is a C and the D can be yes. So can be parallel. So 18. So if you look 10, three, and five that make 18 there is not late early we can in 12 yes so we can look around it in this way we can draw the diagram there are this, there we normally use the software as well critical path analysis so guys i copied the link for you to watch this video with to further enhance your understanding because it's quite you know unique concept it's quite good to be know about the project management and the workforce team this is quite good to watch so copy this link please and then you can uh, just just a minute in a minute we'll play so critical Hi, path analysis this video, we're going to take a look at a fairly widely used method so so you can whatever i said to you in this you know the slides so you will see there early start early finish float what is meant by these it's been explained about in terms of the example you want so you will see their activity two, activity three so early start what you can and there are the lot of example in this is good to be watch this please so watch good spend it's 10 minutes video so that will help you so watch this that will help you to be clear for the concept about cpa and some activities can be very critical and you can't complete without completing the previous activity so that all was the uh, 2.1 and 2.2 is a plan the activity a project allocate the role and responsibility so the role and responsibility is very important in the success of the project you know the project needs to be direction and the leadership for this reason the responsibility of the project is usually given to a single individual or the agency who usually make the personnel and the professional commitment it's successful completion a small project may be given to the one addition to their everyday work and the large project will be required the appointment dedicated project manager the four aspects of the project manager role are planning organizing coordinating monitoring controlling and leading communicating all these can be the project managers role you should be do so as a project when project managers do so it's quite crucial as a project managers we need to be make sure so we need to be make sure that when we'll make the project so project plan yes so overview the project the project resources the detailed plan the evaluation of the plan the quality plan the dis mm, dissemination of plan i mean you just this meant and then you know the so exit and sustainability plan so this is all we need to do and then we can look around the types of managers it can be you can be a team leaders will spend the time in building the team motivation individual inspiring that the project clear purpose and and every core team 
and the members understand the purpose of this, you know, what really we want to be planner and coordinator will ensure the team create a realistic plan and will often consolidate the individual team member plan to be full project plan and they will coordinate the activity between the team members and systematically. So they need a task manager involved the clarifying the goals and the project and ensure that every action is moving the project towards those goals. Communication and relationship managers will also take the leads to proactively communicate the project into appropriate ways with the stakeholders. Stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest, uh, their interest will be influenced by the uh, by the Activity so problem solver can be in a team so will face you know with many problems during the project and will require to be solved them through the team problems and the solving techniques you know so that will help so project managers monitor and chain managers can be put control in place to ensure the project are against the plan is. So that's what we need to be make sure we'll do. And then we have a budget managers will involve the setting up the budget and then monitor its use, ensure the best use of resources, meeting managers, most project teams only meet as the team during the project. So we need to look around those. While the clear overlaps, there is some important difference between the project managers and normal line managers and line managers are usually specialists where the project managers are often generalist generalist so we need to be looking on the line manager operate close technical knowledge so these are it's good to be have a knowledge about what sort of your roles and responsibility and what skills so typically problem phase the project managers is manage staff so that can be we need to be look around the part time and they have a responsibility home department to so manage the relationship between departmental managers who have the staff the project team manage the size of the team variable resources required product life a project life cycle which will go through next slide dealing with the specialist area so that's we need to be a team member is selected core team and then then monitor. So we discussed in the last lesson as well. Henry Ford said about team coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, and working together is a success. So team success is very. So how we can do it? these are the different ways or different steps we have to follow. Monitor and chain managers and problem solver. They will solve the problem. Alignment of the team. There are the two method assembling the team. The first approach is use the project staff who secondly project and remove their existing role and they may be backed up to the external consultant who fill and skill gap. So approach this is likely efficient and complete. So we can then as there is second approach to add on the project to the existing duties, so existing staff will give an extra role and then they can involve in different projects. That can be and we need to look around that each of them have own advantages and then according to the Tukman, which was very popular, when we set the team, the team have different stages. So first stage is called forming, initially applied, guided, you need to be tensive, reserved, quiet, uh, sometime very aggressive, nervous, sometime expiring, then storming the team member, seem critical, rebellious and argumentative, then temperamental, volatile and ego-centered. Then it reached to the next stage is called noming stage. Start determining the work roles and processes and teamwork start to develop and the team define the culture itself. You know, so we have a member, we know each other, we know very well now. And then they start performing when the team are really start to perform well and operate with the less and more coordination and purposefulness. So the betterly understanding. So that's why in a team we need we have a stages. So we don't need to be we need to mix up forming, storming, norming and performing stage. So building a team. So building a team is not just about the team selection is a, also about the more Busiest process of developing and maintain the team throughout the length of the project. CMI, Chartered Management Institute, they define, decide whether you really do need a team. Perhaps the project can be managed by one person. Define the objective and what skill and what uh, objective and result your team will define according to the mechan and nine competencies of the team. So you need to look around the competencies.
okay so plan a team building strategy so you need to look around the strategy what action plan will be training feedback and free flow of information get team together develop a team outcome bear in mind the team take time to develop according to the tukman so forming storming and norming explore the established operating ground rules working and uh, behaving and working then identify individual strength good team mixture of the strength well being team roles uh and see the yourself as a team members and check out the objective those are and the team meeting then dissolve team when the project is successful and you can learn from it the team was successful then 2.3 is called milestone we have to learn about the what are what is meant by the milestones milestone mean the key date those are the crucial for the success of the project so those we need to be look around in term of the project okay tunnel also notes that the milestone plan should be developed in start up workshop and he recommend that the following six step in development process so start by agreeing the final milestone end of the project brainstorm ideas for the rest of the milestone review the milestone find those who are tr truly milestone and not half milestone write a milestone post note and again the area of work drop logical dependency six final drop plan so all this and gain chart can be help you know to draw the milestone which activity which date and when so these can be your milestone dates you know and uh, you can look around when activity so when you will do the meeting with your supervisor for suppose is a research project your dissertation so you will do literature review uh you will choose you will make the proposal you will discuss with your supervisor proposal accepted you will do literature research you will do the methodology questionnaire you will do so in how many weeks what your activity so you can make it these will be the milestone your of the project so each stage of the project life cycle boom growth maturity initiation so we need to look around when the project finishes become a product life cycle so different milestones can be the project on the project at the start finish in the middle so always is a control system need to be in place to make your project successful then next we looking to point for in allied the resources that the required yes different resources required to make the project any project you undertake let's say we want construction project or you want it project whatever you need people their knowledge skills abilities and organization physical resources you need materials facilities equipment time yes how the project need to be specified people physical resources and money for in time manner and then money the budget how much money will be required to do all this bit and pieces so these we need to align in line each you know the pro and cons we can look around the sources of finance each you know the source of finance where you money will come from it can be internal sources of finance internal sources of finance where you can raise the money to uh, sell your existing assets sell it can be existing assets like you know we have a spare machinery or we have a spare building maybe we can sell raise cash and we can use for the project and then either can be borrow money so we can borrow money from uh, banks different financial institutions so we can loan so the loan where we'll get you know so how many percent it can be 3% interest rate 5% interest rate what we expect so what will be 5% interest the money will borrow and how long will be commitment that's all we need to keep in mind are we have a return profit in business return income or return profit so that profit which we earn in the previous year we not distribute to the shareholder we returning that money we can use it for uh, for the future business okay further we can look around then um, external sources of finance 
so external sources of finance you can look around equity equity mean you issue more shares to raise money that you borrow money from the bank or different financial institution then can be bond then can be lease then can be mortgage depend on the nature of the business so you can look around all possible options and you can make it what resources you require what will be the source of funding these you know so that is quite crucial to be look around to minimize the risk increase so you well need to be well aware of the base rate is mean the basic interest rate which is set by the central bank of england most of the country base rate drop now we in the uk 0.01% uh in other part of the world maybe 7% used to be 12 10 20 20 so it's becoming lower so that will reduce the cost then you need to be make sure you okay that's we done and then when you look around the financial so you need to be look around the financial projections financial indicator so you look around the cost that like new computer equipment 10 network ready pc sporting software we required each so one server how much printers how much cable all training cost how much will be then other cost how much will be what benefit will be bring this your new it system how long will be pay back so all this we can look around so net present value method if you have a positive cash flow the money will get in future will be more value than the real value so we accept it internal rate of return so your return should be more than your cost that is look around and the pay back period is a shorter always better and quickly you fulfill what you invested and you recover so all this we can look around and we analyze the carried out next 2.5 it carry out the risk assessment so risk is a probability of happening something always assess the risk so you are constructing a house you should be forecast the weather because that's the risk you know risk can be the price you know fluctuation of the price fluctuation of the foreign currency so all this can be huge risk for the project is the combination of the probability and the likelihood adverse events happening are the consequences in fact it does not a risk assessment project is a process think about now oil prices fuel prices they drop around around 30 50 55% in the oil prices so that is a huge reduction in the cost so those construction project if we don't have a government restriction to carry down this is the golden time to do it because in terms of the fueling delivery cost can be very less because the fuel is cheap so we need to be look around those identify the risk there are the number of different ways can be took the risk to incur in the project and example look the potential is different phase of the project design implementation crawl and in term of the stakeholders material money and all so we need to look around the risk and milestone is good is linked with other other assessment criteria good starting point is use the milestone planning structure look at according to kohan and plum palmer note the experience major sources project risk Uh, on engineering and construction project are following changes in the project scope and the requisition uh, design errors and omissions and performance that can be huge you know so rectification cost is more than the building cost so that's why we need to be very well planned planning is more important than actually when you start it you perform it and then you say oh no 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 you're supposed to do this and that that the rectification cost is more than itself are the initial cost so with that we need to be look around then we look around the qualitative quantitative qualitative mean is information qualitative quantitative mean numbers high low high and low this five is numbers so we can give the numbers which is a 5% more risk or less 10% control risk some risk can be control some risk can be transferred to by getting the insurance so we will try to be of course if you don't do business you don't have a risk if you don't so some control risk how we can control some we can't control so we need to look around those so this risk register we need to write the risk and we need to look around the probability and the chances of the risk and is it controllable or not or it's is it transfer or what strategy you will be in place to minimize the risk as a risk manager so risk uh, mitigation plan you look around you rate them you propose them and you use then prince to and a gale 
uh, Prince2 is the world most uh, widely used project management methodology. Prince qualification is standard features of the project management qualification in the UK and growing. So Prince is also is a software. They have number of people use and number of members of the Prince. So a Gale is approaches are based upon the 12 in Gale principles. <clears throat> uh, so the further assess the feasibility in the project justify to your customer <coughs> is cost and benefit. So you do the cost and benefit analysis, quantitative and qualitative risk as well. Uh, I copied the link for you, which will go through an upload as well. It's manage a store relocation project, Marks and Spencer, and how they assess the risk. Then 2.D1 is for distension criteria, explain the quality assurance. So quality is very important in terms of so time, cost, and quality. Always look around the performance of the project, quality and the resources to do job. There is no point spending the project fund on the equipment and the material have the highest specification than use. The price we can look around, then include the purchase price. You need to look around the source of supply. You need to look around the purchase price. Second, you need to look around the where you will buy the things from, quality, the price, delivery, look, service, <coughs> So you look, you know, what do you need, where to going to get it? So all you have to ask the question. So I copied this link is this came from um, Project Management Institute. So quality planning is very, very important. Perform quality assurance inputs, uh, tools and techniques and output. You know, you need to be looking on perform the quality control input. Uh, you have a quality audit within an organization. Then the project control. A project control is the total approach to monitoring, assessing, and correcting the based on the performance criteria. You compare what should have happened forecast. Actual, uh, the, you can look around the control. Can be what you budget, what your actual result, the difference is the variance. That can also be helped. The variance is also sort of the control. Why this is happening? Is it due to the inflation, due to the change in the environment, or due to the lack of planning, due to the lack of supervision? Or the role can it can be again the role and re responsibility that the reward can be awarded. So a project control is like this is the certain features we need to. It's a holistic approach. We need to be should be monitor and control all phase of the project. It's the ongoing, never stop. So control is a corrective action. Area of the project control should be scope of the project control should be area do need to be covered in control, the key deliverable, the cost in time in the risk. So all this we need to be controlled. So area to control the key delivery work, cost, time, people, risk. So all this and you need to be set the smart objective for each and these can be helped to control. Then I copied the link for you assessing the major project. So please, you can read as well the major projects. Contingency planning, why the contingency planning involved, and that's quite good to be minimize the risk and make your, and I copied the link for you to do the quiz because communication is very important in a project. So that helps you know, involve your stakeholders don't need to be just you know isolate yourself so ultimately more coordination help you know to reduce the risk of the project as well so that's all today lesson please if you have any question drop me email in today lesson we learn about be able to plan the work based team we discuss team building we discuss role responsibility we discuss the different planning techniques as well we did learn about the we today lesson key buzzwords we learn so please really always need to be focused. So we learn per program evaluation technique. We learn CPA. We learn GAN chart. Uh, we discuss uh, product based breakdown structure. We discuss uh, this. We learn about role and responsibility. We learn time. 
cost and quality we need to be monitor we learn about sources of finance internal and external and uh, we learn about risk and we discuss about risk register uh, risk register and risk plan and uh, how we can minimize our risk you know so all was the key focus in this lesson and we learn about of course we learn about the team team building and we learn about tukman tukman approach norming forming storming and uh, performing so these are the different teams and different so these were the key word in our lesson if you have any question please just drop me email on my email address on your my view covers page that go that you okay i hope i will speak with you all and in the meanwhile if you have any question just drop me email thanks for listening attending and hope so all you and please make sure attend your next lesson and uh, we already send you the timetable and when your lesson supposed to be thank you bye bye